Riseburg Arms and Armors, blacksmithing on premises. Oh, it's Inga who's handy at the forge. She likes iron more than people. Iron. And me. Hm. By making the craft hall, Cora settled a land dispute, a trade argument, and made herself queen of the market. The day I met Inga, she smote me in the heart. With that hammer there. It's true. Left a bruise you wouldn't believe. So long. Can I help you? Brother Fallon should have come. Astrid needs that medicine. Good day.
My brother Thaddeus. He's sicker than he knows. I fear for him if he doesn't take a rest from guard duty. We suffer our share of hardships, true, but we're quiet folk all in all. Quiet folk. I'm a miller. None of these crafts and such for me. When I'm not at the millstone, I'm here by the lake, fishing. Take after my old uncle Ensign Egg that way. The fishing's good here, but the fish, well, they're as wild as the she is all. He stood there day and night. He'll die of plague is the short and long of it. Don't quite know how to talk sense into the fool. Our sister could if she wasn't laid in bed with the plague herself. She was fine until two days passed. Then, all of a sudden, she could hardly stand. Astrid's tending to her now. When she took sick is right when Thaddeus got that foolish notion stuck in his head. He's an odd one. Lives in Ettenmere, of all places. Aye. Oh. This is the three lamps. Plague's put my own grey in the healer's care, but we're open nonetheless. We've had our plague shield, and well, so far so good. But what to do when the plague shield runs out? He's sick, off at the healer's, poor duck. And while he is, I can make this in presentable. And ain't it about time? Oh, he looked so fine the day he marched off a fresh soldier. I fear boggarts and blood plague have done what war could not. Great. We've an open room, if you've gold to pay. Do you then? Suit yourself. Best cup of ale and cut of roast in all Dunantov. And our rates are reasonable. Right then. You're a brave soul coming to Dydenhill. This little village is faring pretty badly, and I would know, I was in the war. It's in your best interest to fill your pack and depart as soon as you're able. The blood plague works fast, very fast. It was once an old Alpha outpost, nothing extraordinary, and it became the last line of defense, where we held back the Tuatha through long nights of fire. Melson Shear is where I lost this hand where I knew I'd never come home the same man that I left. I'd rather not talk about it, if that's okay with you. I think about the war enough as it is, and I doubt these wolves will ever let me forget it. It's pretty nasty, and I've seen my fair share of infections and ailments. We had plenty of them in the trenches and on the walls of Melson Shear. You don't want to know about me. Besides, that name hardly means anything to me now. I came back different, a shadow of the boy from Gorehart. You met Gisela? How? I sent that death notice. She should know that I'm... that I'm dead. She cannot know that I survived. Call me a coward. Call me whatever you wish. I am not the same man she wed so long ago. I am broken. I cannot subject her to the nightmares, the wounds, the restlessness. I will spare her that torment. I don't know. I've endured much, but perhaps she has endured even more. 
A silent vigil has no doubt been as trying as my time on the battlefield, you're right. This reunion is one we both deserve. We have earned our happiness. How could I have ever considered anything else? Thank you, truly. Thank you. I paid a scholar to fashion a false death notice, the kind the army uses to inform the next of kin that a soldier has fallen in the line of duty. A courier left with it several days ago. All my hope for Gisela's future went with it.